morning all today's day guys today's day we're gonna reveal the mystery of the hole in the wall <laughs> it's been months since we did the cladding and I can't wait to close up the wall come on in whoops false start guys we're out of bloody screws again, we need to go shopping again. How can this van swallow that many screws? I mean, look at this. We went shopping yesterday and I forgot the screws. Screws. Excellent. <laughs> More of them. Now we're ready to build. Right, so, Prime Exhibit A. You can still see the reflectors, you can still see the framing. So, the mystery of the wall is we're going to be building a puzzle wall, or that's what we call it. It's going to have fold-down desks. So like, wee, You know, so we can work and other stuff and extra counter space and more storage. But it'll be nicely tucked away. Okay, so there's quite a few elements to this wall, uh, similar to the couch fiasco, like it has to like 10 billion things at once. So, the way we're going to build this is we've already cut some of the pieces. There you go, so these are the walls. And we've got the base in the top. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to construct it as we go along. But I was thinking the majority of the unit will build outside the van and then we'll add it in, which is different from the majority of things that we have done in the van. So we can actually, because we've got the perimeter that we need, as you can see by the gap in the wall. Yeah. So, so that actually kind of gives us like a starting point to kind of get the, the unit the right size. Go. Right. On the base we are A-OK, -okay. great. Yeah. There's gonna be um, a contract here to hide this gap. Uh, now this is straight, that is not. Huh? So it's fine. The, con the conduit will hide it. Now I'm thinking we should replace this. It'll be a little bit more, more, more structural and because um, this wall is gonna be revealed, like <laughs> here. Um, uh, even when we put that here, yes. you know that's the, the third wall that will still, uh, yeah, it, it still may sag, like visibly sag uh, when you put stuff on it. It's much more visual like this, can't you see it? It's coming to shape already. Another thing that, that, that defines this, wait, it's the cork board. Oh right. yeah, that fits in there. Right, but we want this to go all the way from side to side, right? And that doesn't fit on the frame, so we can't do that. things on this uh, magical desk contraption are these. Now these are going here, like so. One goes here, and there's a second one here, and that one's gonna go like this. Yes. And this makes no sense whatsoever. And don't worry, that groove over there is 
going to be used as well. I must say, Puzzle Wall, I think, is, I think it's a good name, okay? It's a good name. It will it, come it, together it, in it, the end. It already looks like a puzzle. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway. I think there are a little dot here or something like that there. Yeah. Anyway, um, so it, it's all in my head, okay? I'll get it out by the end of this video, okay? <laughs> right. There you go. Let's uh, paint this. So I've been pondering for some time what color to paint it and which pieces should be one blue and which pieces should be another blue. So um, the outside stuff are going to be darker blue and the inside stuff are going to be lighter blue. Just think it will work. That's it. Okay, so next step is uh, we need to prepare the backing. So now that the paint is uh, dry and we've sort of stylized the main frame, we need to get the backing working. So part of this backing is going to be a cork board. So I have recycled this uh, old cork board, I chopped it up a bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it on here. I've marked hopefully the, the right places where the frame is. And I prefer to stick on the cork board now uh, and not when uh, we've attached this to the, um, to, the, to the skeleton because then the glue is gonna go like everywhere. And also we're gonna cover this whole backing in blue fabric. Wish me luck. Lift her up. Oh. oh, yeah, I see what you mean about it. it looks black on the camera. Mm. Okay, that's a bit better. Puzzle wall. Get in there. <laughs> yep. All right, so whilst Polly is doing the finishing touches over there, it is my job to be sanding our tabletops here. So these are going to be our desk tabletops which will attach in some way to the puzzle wall over there. You'll see in a moment but we need to sand and prep these to make them look a bit more like an actual tabletop like our kitchen counters. So let's get sanding. The next thing on the agenda is the trim. So this is one of the tabletops sanded ha. and as you can see it still has its uh, ply line finish. Yeah. which sometimes it can look really nice but we did our kitchen counter with uh, some spare um cls trim yeah cls trim so basically really thin mm -hmm. off cuts mm -hmm. essentially these are the uh the cls off cuts they're 19 mil wide so they'll cover this we're just going to stick it on with wood glue clamp it down with masking tape because we don't have clamps that are big enough and that kind of gives the ply a nice... Need, you sort of need like a special clamp that yeah. uh, kind of will clamp the whole side. Yeah. And they're all very well, the expensive specialists and we don't need them that much anymore. So masking tape works pretty well.
Look what we have created! We have created this! What have we created? Mm -mm. It's not fire, is it? I can't say fire. <laughs> well said. Well, whatever the hell this is, it's up. It's not finished yet. No. <clears throat> and you're still probably wondering what. <laughs> but it's up, okay? It's up. Celebrate, it's up. <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> perfect laptop desk isn't it it's literally at the perfect height and it's below our hanging bar so we can hang off our chair and use it as well and you just push it in and that locks it away so that when you're driving it doesn't fall over okay so obviously this desk is working beautifully as demonstrated this is our whiteboard it is uh, very useful and One of my mum's classic cat heads. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, whiteboard. You can have all fun. So you can pick from a whiteboard or a blackboard or a magnetic board or a cork board. Oh yeah, the cork board. Yeah, yes. So the cork board's behind the uh, blue fabric so you can pin stuff to it. Yes, so obviously it's uh, still new and fresh and we haven't covered it yet, but it's getting there. Uh, it's starting to accumulate post-it notes, but anyway. Uh, I'm sure you're wondering what's happening with here because there's still no desk there. So there's one desk here and we you saw two planks of wood. Well, you know how wood has a tendency to um, bend? Uh, so, this is the giant desk and... <laughs> it currently resides back there. There it is. So, we've used it. It is amazing as a desk. Okay? So, this is supposed to go in here. It's supposed to go in here flat. I'm sure you'll be able to see that it, does, it is not flat. Okay? <laughs> and despite my best efforts, please insert a picture here so people know our best efforts <laughs> um, to straighten this. It has not worked. Um, so, essentially, Either we waste more of our life trying to straighten this board or we go to plan Q uh, and uh, um, change the, the top. But essentially, I'll tell you a few ideas about it in a sec, but how it's supposed to work. So this is a, a free floating desk. So it will not live on a hinge the same way as this one. Okay, this is nice and simple. Uh, the hinge, you know, puts it down and keeps it level at the same level however because because of our back bench so listen to this it's, it's a chain of events you know how in a van build everything affects everything else so the back bench has to have 24 centimeter clearance for the, for the fridge so we have to build it that height so this is basically the bar height so this is my office uh and this is the height at which i have to sit all right, so the desk had to be at this height for it to be at all functional as a desk. But I did not want it to be uh, this small. I want it to be this big. <laughs> Ergo, um, the um, hinge on this desk has to be here, but cannot always be there. So this is what <laughs> happened. Because <laughs> if the desk was that large, hinging on that axis it would go past the ceiling it wouldn't actually fit yeah so, so this is what a meter long or 90 something whatever and basically the ceilings here and whatever okay so for the time being we have a functional desk somewhat a problem for storage at the moment but it will be stored up here and clipped into place eventually now um these okay so as you can tell this desk has only one leg and nothing else to really secure it anywhere Okay, yeah. remember puzzle wall? J just go with it. Okay, so hence I have drilled these holes. Right, so as you can see there, there is a hole. Right, 
there you go so that secures that corner and then to stop it shifting elsewhere I've also done the same holes here and they're not as straight as one would wish but who cares at this point okay so there's some squeaking issues I need to put some felt <laughs> fabric to stop the squeaking uh, of the of the wood places but essentially this stops the desk from falling and you can essentially put your weight on it and it'll be fine but essentially this is the office mode and what's really cool is that you can still use the toilet the, the couch the sink just fine there's a bit of an obstruction opening the fridge but not too much so uh, you can still reach for snacks and obviously if you're actually cooking just remove this um, also another thing the slit we haven't explained the slit <laughs> come along so for the big desk remember we did a slit here now I'm sure you're aware that when you're working sometimes you just want to lean back but then your desk is left too far and what you would want to do is shift it forward Ta -da! <laughs> and that way it's the perfect distance away <laughs> So that's why I have 10 billion uh, holes in this. Because uh, then you can just reposition the pins in the new holes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is a little bit fiddly to reposition and stuff. It's not too, too too big of a deal. And the beauty of this is that I can upgrade it at any point when it annoys me too much. Uh, but for now, I've been able to use this desk and I've been very comfortable. Now, in terms of the storage of this, like I said, obviously, um, uh, we won't be able to bend this back into straightness. Um, and you do need this to be straight because so we we have clips that are supposed to brace it to the to, to the unit, you know, what, 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 when, it, when it's up. And um, um, basically, th th this is so strong that I have a feeling that it would pop this out the wall before it actually clips onto the unit because the amount, amount of force I have to put put on to even get it close to being straight, it's um, it's painful and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break something that I shouldn't. My plan is to design a new top, um, most likely using aluminium. And I was thinking, you know, this is this is this is a sneak peek into into my brain. I want a light box desk. You know those platforms, you know, desks that uh, light up. So you have a switch and it lights up and they're good for drawing and whatnot. Uh, you know, architects like them and other stuff. So I was thinking it would be really cool to incorporate that into my desk. And I was thinking, well, if I have to replace this, why don't I do that? So essentially, I was thinking aluminium frame uh, and a hollow inside so I can do cool stuff inside. Uh, I saw somebody build a computer into a desk. I don't think I'm going to do that. But, you know cool stuff so uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity uh, of this not working to, <laughs> to make it even more interesting but I was thinking we'll probably do that on the road um, because time is ticking and it's no small task it's just gonna take some working out and I don't want to be stressed doing it so I think for now this is gonna sort of hover at the back over there where I picked it up from um, it's not doesn't take too much room it's fine it generally does not fall back <laughs> when the doors are opened so essentially this is how we take it down and yes it, it is pretty heavy but it's a big desk so that's what we have to work with there you go oh that's the leg i don't think i actually showed it to you <laughs> um this leg can actually store pictures then you can put stuff in in between but i'll show you that later <laughs> okay there you go voila it's away Put that away. There we go. Hey, voila. And it's all free. It's big open space again. My brain, people. My my brain. 